I've never built a guitar combo amp before in my life, and I've never even thought about it. Yet, Eminence contacted me, in particular, it was actually Jerry McNutt who contacted me and said, hey Nick, how would you like to build a really cool guitar amplifier? <laughs> I'm like, Jerry, I've never done this. I I've never even thought about doing this. And he said, that's okay, I wanna send you one anyway. So he sent over this Patriot, uh, Woofer is eight inch, and I got to doing some research. So as I started researching, I noticed that a lot of people like to use pine wood on guitar amplifiers. It has some unique resonant qualities to it that can really make an amplifier sound really unique. And so I decided to go over to Home Depot and pick up some pine wood. Luckily, this was just as the prices were increasing. It hadn't hit the complete out of the stratosphere prices of wood and lumber. So I was able to get a decent enough deal on it to be able to make the entire enclosure out of wood. Now here's the problem. As I was looking at guitar amplifiers, I noticed they all kind of looked the same. They didn't really stand out. And I said, man, I gotta make it stand out. So I wanted to go more for that vintage vibe. And so by doing that, this is the design that I came up with. So after doing some more research on some vintage amplifiers, I decided to take some of the things that I liked about other amplifiers and design it into this. And this is what I came up with. And once I finished, I decided to send it to my friend, Eric, who knew a little bit about guitar amplifiers. And let's be honest, he was gonna get this one when I'm finished because I don't play the guitar. I don't have anything to do with it. So I asked Eric what he thought of the design and he was like, yeah, I think I like it. There's not a way to instill confidence in me, Eric. Not at all. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and do the design anyway because I thought it was gonna come out really cool. But I wanted it to have a handmade feel to it. Really go back to that vintage vibe. And so I programmed the CNC to actually do box cuts. And this took a long time, but I gotta say it came out really, really nice. The amplifier, there's holes that go through this that would allow sound in. So I did want to make sure that I enclosed that area off from the speaker so that none of the sound escapes through those holes.
everything seemed to be going very well, but I still needed the amplifier portion of it. That's where Parts Express came in. I was searching Parts Express website and I came across a buyout that they still have going on. And that buyout was for this footnote amplifier. Now, it's a small bedroom amplifier, but you'd notice it also does foot pedals. And that was pretty cool. The problem with it was it only did nine volts, which wasn't a lot of wattage. I went ahead and bought it anyway and started to look at the amplifier. After researching the board a little, I came across the fact that this amplifier actually can go up to 12 volts. The problem, well, the foot pedals can't. So in order to rectify that, I just added a step down converter between the board and the foot pedals, and I stepped it down to nine volts. So now I can plug up a 12 volt power supply, get a lot more wattage out of it, and still be able to use the nine volt pedals. A win-win for everyone. But there still was an issue that I needed to think about, and that's whether I wanted this guitar amplifier to be a closed back or an open back. So I talked to Jerry McNutt again and said, hey Jerry, what should we do about this? Amplifier should be closed or open. And we came up with the idea, in fact, he suggested it would be really cool to see an amplifier that could have both a closed and open back to it. Makes sense. It's a lot more work. But hey, let's go ahead and do it. So I designed this part that can actually be removable on the back, which allows you to easily unscrew it and then turn that whole guitar combo into an open back. Now when I was done, I gotta say, I was really excited with how it looked. It came out exactly how I wanted it to. The issue still comes, I don't really know how it sounds. I decided finally, I'm just gonna send it to Eric and he can tell us what he thinks. I definitely like the, the clarity and the the volume, I guess, or sort of sensitivity. The, the eminence driver is awesome. I actually wanna look for other things that have eminence in them now. Um, <laughs> it, it seems like it's it's worthwhile for, for its use case. Um, I definitely like the the looks of it. You you build a nice nice box for that speaker, mm -hmm. and you took a little you took a lot of time in making sure that it was well done. Uh, the <laughs> box plates are nice. The you know it's got the retro style in it and the handle and everything. So I like that, and mm -hmm. I like that you know it can do pedals with just the one plug. Like I don't have to carry around another thing. It just it's all right there. Um, it won. It's on you know the other one was is out of place now. This one sits prominently in the living room and right right in display and she, there's been no complaints about it whatsoever i think i think she likes it and that is a big deal because if your wife allows it in the living room you know that you've done something right yeah i've heard sometimes speakers get uh pushed to like home theater rooms or something yeah or they put doilies on them or something you know <laughs> it doesn't have a doily it has a it has a pedal board on this one all right guys that's all we got for today i hope that you enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if this is your first time at the channel, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you get instant notification of new videos when they come out. All right, guys, this is Toyd's DIY Audio, and I'm out.